Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are not gonna talk about robot muscles. Today we are going to talk about robot brains. And here I have a Jetson Nano board. It's a powerful and quite cheap computer, which is made specially for the artificial intelligence application. So it should be perfect for our future robotic arm. And the only thing which I need to do is to check that it's compatible with the O drive. So this is what we're gonna do today. I also have this depth camera and this is gonna be the eyes for our future robot. So let's get started. For this test I bought a 10 inch screen from the Adafruit. I also have this power supply. This is a dual power supply. So it has a 5 volt for the Jetson Nana and it also has 12 volt for the screen. And I printed all these pieces in order to combine all these together. I also flashed the software on the SD card. SD card goes to the Jetson Nano. This piece goes here. And we can secure it with the two bolts and embedded nuts. Now we can install the Jetson Nano inside. And we can secure the Jetson Nano inside with the four bolts. As a next step, I will install this fan over here. Like this, it's going to cool down the Jetson Nano and also the air gonna pass through the power supply, which is gonna be installed here. And now we can install the power supply. So this is a power supply. But before installing this power supply, I would like to connect all the wires. So this is the main power cable. This is a cable to power up the Jetson Nano. So I'm going to power up it through the GPIO connector. And this is a cable to power up the screen. Line, neutral, ground. So the Jetson Nano cable goes to the 5 volts. The red one is plus and the black one is common. And cable for the screen goes to the 12 volts. Again, the red one is plus and black one is common. But I shouldn't forget to connect also the fan because my fan works from the 12 volts. And the power cable goes over here in this slot and the cable to connect uh, the screen goes in one of these two slots and with these two m3 bolts i'm gonna fix the power supply and now let's connect the power for the jetson nano with the zip tie i'm going to fix the main power cable through these uh, two holes now I can fix this part on this foot and this one goes on top. And it's already stands. Afterwards the cover goes here and the screen goes on top. Here there is a place for the embedded nuts. I already put one and I need to put the rest. All embedded nuts I installed in their place. Now the screen. This plate goes here, but if I'm gonna install it just like this, I'm gonna cover the speakers and also these holes. So I decided to make these spacers and like this they're gonna create some gap between this plate and uh, the screen. It's not a perfect solution, but I think it should be enough. And so now this screen is should go like this. But before I will put all the cables properly. I also have this HDMI cable, which is very thin and uh, flexible. And for this cable, I made a slots one and two. So here it goes to the connector. Afterward, it goes to the slot and it comes out here. I will zip tie the cables. And now we can put this one over here like this and fix everything. 
and so it's almost done now i need to put three screws here and three over there and also these two screws to hold uh, this plate quite bulky but uh, everything is inside so the only thing which needs to be connected is uh, keyboard and mouse so i just connected the keyboard and also small wi-fi module now let's switch it on and hope that it's gonna work okay no explosion the fan is a little bit noisy maybe i will change it Cool, look nice. I found this small touchpad instead of mouse. I changed the Wi-Fi module, so I have this one with the small antenna. Now I need to install the Odrive tool. So I'm at uh, Odrive Robotics website, now docs, and here there is uh, this section installing tools. So we need to install the Python 3 and Odrive tool. Python 3 is already pre-installed. And so now I need to install Odrive with the sudo pip3. So first of all I'm installing the pip with the sudo apt install python3 dash pip. So basically I just follow the commands uh, from the Odrive website. And now sudo pip3 install Odrive. One of the command failed. Failed building will for matplotlib sudo apt get sudo pip3 install or drive yes uh, it looks nice let's try to do the step number three from this or drive tutorial so jd bash rc and now i need to add one line at the end of this file so the terminal or drive uh, and it proposed or drive tool and now we can take out our O drive connected to the motor connected to the Jetson Nana and see if it works and so this is my O drive module it's connected to the power supply it's connected to the motor and also through this USB cable I'm going to connect it to the Jetson Nano now I can turn on the power supply for the O drive okay no magic smoke now I need to launch the O drive tool connect it to the O drive full calibration sequence this one uh -huh. motor rotates in one direction and into another direction oh it looks like it works so the next I need to put the O drive into the closed loop control so set point 10,000 oh it worked set point 100,000 So let's change the velocity. Let's put the velocity at 50,000. Set position at 10,000. Velocity limit at uh, 100,000. Set position 100,000. Set position zero. Velocity limit 200,000. Set position uh, 100,000. Set position zero. Nice. Okay, it does work. Perfect. Now I'm going to take care of the real sense camera. So this is going to be the eyes of our future robot. So this is the camera itself. It has a USB-C port. And there is a small tripod and a USB-C cable. This is a USB 3.1. To install the software for this camera on Jetson Nano, I'm going to follow step by step this video this is a video from the youtube channel jetson hacks and they clearly explain how to install everything and after several hours of installation i finally installed all the software for this camera so we can run real sense viewer so this is a standard image and this is depth image Apparently it works better at uh, resolution 848 to 480. And this is depth camera. So 
so it looks like it's a good solution for our robotic arm. Thank you for watching this video till the end. So today we learned that we can use Jetson Nano for the O drive and also we can use this camera as the eyes for our future robotic arm. And all this was possible thanks to my patrons. Here their names. If you would like to support my channel and if you would like to help me to build open source robotic arm, please support my channel via Patreon or via PayPal. All the links in the description to this video. See you next time.